Hi everybody, Jillian here with a new Bible journaling process video. Today I'm so excited to jump into the new beloved Bible journaling kit from Illustrated Faith. I have some items I pulled from my stash to use today. I printed out the digital elements that are available in the Illustrated Faith digital shop. And then I was so inspired by Mary's beautiful art that's included in the devotional kit. Um, so I pulled out my gel plate along with some new ones that I got myself for Christmas. Um, some different shapes, stencils, things like that to play around with today in my interleaved journaling Bible. Because February is right around the corner, this kit is all about love. And not like romantic love, but the Father's love for us. So I'm going to be journaling in John 3.16 today and experimenting with some new to me gel plates. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got all of the usual characters for this type of video. I have my larger gel plate, a brayer, and then for this smaller circular gel plate, I am gonna use an acrylic block, one that you would use for you know your clear stamps um, to go ahead and mount the circle plate on there. I've also got some scrap paper, baby wipes, and acrylic paint. And today, because I want to do a full page background, I'm going to um, put, slip my Bible mat underneath my Bible page to protect everything else underneath there. I still am no gel plate expert. Everything that I've learned is from the Jelly Press YouTube channel. I'll link it down in the video description below. Marsha and Brigitte have some amazing instructional videos on there, um, and they're really fun and inspiring to watch. So that's where I've learned everything having to do with how to use these things. And in this video, there was just some trial and error that led to my page today. So like you can see that I covered the plate with acrylic paint, but then realized, oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So I ended up removing that paint and then putting the stencil down on my plate and then applying the paint directly to the brayer and then rolling that over the stencil because I really only want these little bubbly crosses or X's or whatever they are to appear on the background of my Bible page or so I thought. As you can see I did a test print here and I looked at the paper and I was like oh I kind of like how this looks so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and redo that put the stencil down roll some paint on top of it and then put that whole thing on my Bible page including the messy stencil and the gel plate yeah, so I kind of like how that looks. You have the, like a little bit of an outline almost around each one of those little X's. I thought that was so cool. And I wanted a background color to cover most of my page here. So I'm going to start with the lighter one and then kind of build some contrasting color on top of there. Now because the gel plate that I use is smaller than my Bible page, I have a little bit of white space over here on the right. And so I just took some of the leftover paint that was on the plate um, and pressed that down on those on those areas and then I'm going to redo the same process so that it can cover the top third of the page there. So as you can see I have a little less coverage up here towards the top no big deal I'll just take I'll just remove the stencil and then kind of kiss the plate to my page like I did before. And then this kind of indicates to me I want to move my focal point up towards the top of the page to cover up this little, you know, I'm using air quotes here, accident. <laughs> Alright, so next up I'm going to work on my next layer and I'm going to use this circle plate and I want to add a contrasting color. So this yellow Liquitex color was a good match for what I wanted to do today. I will um, list and or link all of the items that I used down in the video description below if you want to see specifically what I used. I don't remember the name of this color off the top of my head. Um, so I just covered the plate in paint and then wasn't sure what sort of like treatment I wanted to give to it so I just used it as a stamp. Um, you can see here that I just flipped it flipped the block over and like stamped it down in a few places so that I have this gold circle in three places on my page. The two largest ones are going to act as anchors for my title and then my subtitle. All right, so now onto my third layer, it's time for a new color. I pulled out the square stamp block and the same stencil that I was using and this gorgeous magenta paint from Liquitex. And I used the same method of applying the paint to the brayer and then rolling that over the plate and using it kind of like a stamp. But it's 
messier than a stamp. You can see here I don't get a super crisp impression. Um, so it's really fun to play around with this. In between impressions I'm using a baby wipe to clean off the plate and then I'm utilizing the different sizes in this stencil to create some interest. So I'm going to use the larger section of the stencil in the middle circle which is where my focal point is going to be with my title. On this one, I got a little too close to the edge, and so you can see here that, yeah, it was a square that I used. And I don't love that, so for the rest of the video, I'm going to um, attempt to place things there to cover up that hard edge. And because I like to do things in threes, I'm going to do that one more time here to get some of this really fun, bright pink pop of color on my page. And for one last hit of color, I'm going to use the stencil that came from the Big Story Devotional Kit last year on that square block with some really pretty aqua craft acrylic paint. Again, applying that straight to my brayer and then rub rolling that only through the opening of the heart stencil here. So no harsh lines on the edges. And this is just so bright and colorful on top of that mustard color and that, and that magenta color. So I'm going to do that one more time on my larger circle, on that circle in the middle, and uh, that's going to like be layered beneath my title. Alright, so that is going to do it for my gel plate. I don't think I use it for the remainder of my page here, but now I have this really pretty painterly background to come back to after I clean all my tools off, and then I'll get started with elements from the kit. In the first session of her devotional, Mary talks about how the song Jesus Loves Me is sung daily in her house, and that reminded me, oh hey, I have this leftover bit from the wholehearted devotional kit that came out this time last year, so I definitely wanted to use that on my page, and, and I love how it kind of just pops from this mixed-media background in the back. And then there are some gorgeous alpha stamps that I plan to use today, and then some really fun butterfly washi tape that I just wanted to put all over the place, and then some heart ephemera using Mary's art. So I'm going to quickly go through these hearts and then see which ones are really going to pop off the background that I have here and put those to the side. I'm looking for like lighter aquas and then some of the hearts that have red in them. And then I just continued embellishing my page. For my subtitle on that bottom circle, I took the three kind of like word fetty stamps from the stamp set that say loved, chosen, XOX. I stamped those in Stays on Jet Black ink on some white scrap cardstock and then taped those to my page down towards the bottom. And then I ended up swapping out this heart that I used for some of the digital kit elements, like this beautiful butterfly that I printed on clear sticker paper and then cut in half. I really like seeing that wing come out from my title. It's so beautiful. So many good elements included in this kit. I punched a tab out of some of the digital elements, added some word fetty that say true love up there, and secured that with some of that washi tape. I looked to Mary's devotional and just jotted down a quick prayer here next to John 3:16, and that's going to do it for me. I've got a few finished looks at my page here. If you guys are interested in trying something similar, I've got all of the items that I used linked down in the video description below. It's going to be such a wonderful February focusing on the Lord's beautiful, indescribable, just remarkable love that he has for us. I hope you'll join us.